There is something rather compelling about 88 Films' release of Black Cat. It is a, a movie that is primarily just a remake of Nikita or the many other adaptations or movies that use that kind of story. Um, it feels like a knockoff, you know, that way you're looking at something and it doesn't quite feel genuine. It feels as if something that's kind of riffing or copying the best parts of something else but not quite doing it as well as it was done in the original. That's kind of Black Cat. We're thrown into the life of Catherine at the start of this one, a kind of wayward, vagrant woman who is working in a diner. She gets caught up in some trouble and then ends up killing a couple of people. <laughs> As she gets taken into uh, jail, she's going to a court case where she is assassinated, or so it seems, but after an operation where a chip is implanted into her brain for the, uh, I, th I think it's to allow her to achieve the potential that her body can achieve, which seems really weird, it's never really um, addressed later on other than headaches, um, she's trained to become a government assassin for a shadowy group. Hey! Of course, when she's done a job that she really didn't know she was going on and is put into a situation where she has to survive, she is released into the, the wild to do her assassination duties. Of course, she meets someone that she kind of falls in love with, someone that brightens up her life and makes her want to turn her back on her killer ways and settle into a more sedate existence. She finds that maybe her shadowy agency isn't quite happy about that and she'll be drawn back in to do some more of her dirty work later on. Wushi Wushi! Black Cat ready for action. Your target will be at the Hot Springs Waterfall in five minutes. It's a familiar story. It's one that was reused a lot in the 90s and it was something that never quite, well, matched the original of Nikita, which I thought was pretty fantastic. Black Cat is, a, is an interesting film. It has some decent action set pieces. Not a lot of gunfights, not a lot of hand-to-hand um, -hand combat, uh, which was surprising. It's more just about a woman's tenacity to, to do her duties and hopefully survive as well. <laughs> and, but it never feels honest or true to itself at any point. It always feels like it's just kind of riffing on someone else's storyline, uh, aping it at certain points. But the action is pretty compelling and pretty interesting. You get lots of chase sequences. You get lots of um, assassination sequences where our main character has to adapt to the situation. There's one where she has to uh, blow up an elevator and when things don't go to plan, she has to adapt. And it's a wonderfully shot well executed sequence of an execution, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> Typical tropes in this one that feel a little bit ham fisted the character whom she must fall in love with. Wouldn't you believe it? He has a strange medical condition where his heart is on the opposite side of his chest. Wonder if that will lead somewhere later on. Who knows? Um, we get to see her character stuck in kind of turmoil uh, and trying to balance both her uh, personal life and her professional life. There's lots of kind of fun, I, I say fun but I'm not sure if it is entirely fun, sequences where our character has to um, evade her, her boyfriend for a little while, you know, like, I need to go make a phone call, jump in a car, drive somewhere, kill someone, come back and just be like, whew, what a phone call! And you're not sure whether it's supposed to be funny or silly or whether the character that she's with is supposed to be completely idiotic that he doesn't realise that his dates just ran away for a couple of hours. It happens again later on where she's like, can you go and get me some, some aspirin or something? And while he's away, she goes away to a, a, a spa and tries to kill someone there. And you're just like, wow, this... Someone here is, is not... Uh, shuffling with a full deck almost because this just seems completely ludicrous and the film is itself strangely compelling it's somewhat interesting and fun it's a solid three out of five kind of movie 
but it never excels. It never gets anywhere close to other variations of this story. It just seems like uh, it's ticking all the boxes, things that it must do, but it doesn't really do anything exceptionally well that's going to stick in my mind. Some good action set pieces and a very tropey, very familiar movie um, that just, yeah, like I said, it's just something we've seen before. I would love to know your thoughts on Black Cat, whether you love it, hate it, whatever, let me know in the comment box below so we can have a little talk about this movie. As always, there is more content up here that you can see uh, more of my stuff. If you want to click that like button, all kinds of weird and magical stuff happen behind the scenes, which is just terrific. And if you want to join me on membership program or the Patreon, that would be amazing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.